In this repair video, we're going to be working on a Nintendo Switch that came in for no power. We already have the board out, and Big Boss already tested, and he said that the board is not taking a charge, and the screen on the meter is black or flickering when the cable is plugged in. So let's turn the power bank on and plug the cable in. Screen is black. Nothing. Dead. So let's take a look at the board under the microscope and try to figure out why this board is not working. The first thing I want to do is quick physical inspection. The board looks like it has not been tampered with before. Which gives this device a higher chance of being fixed. So I'm just looking out for blown components, discolored components, damaged components. Board looks super clean. Okay, so nothing obvious. I'm gonna start testing the most common components that fail based on my experience working on those boards. And this one is one of them, the M92 chip. Usually caps, they short out on this area of the board. We also test this cap and this cap. We do not have any shorts. Usually a short in this area is an indication that this chip may be bad. A short on those two caps could be a good indication that we have a short on back of the board, which is this chip right here, but right now, it doesn't look like we have a short on either this cap or the caps that we just measured. Let's take a look at the port and make sure we do not have any broken pins, damaged pins or anything like that. And the port looks excellent. The charging I see right here. Let's see if we have a short anywhere in this area. Usually if this chip is bad, we would see a short on this area of the board. Or sometimes we get a high reading in diet mode when testing those caps. So right now 0 0.3 in diet mode, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So everything is testing normal on this chip. So what could be the problem? What could be the problem? We do not want to spend a lot of time troubleshooting the board. We go straight to the point. Based on my experience, this chip fails a lot. And we're going to start by replacing the chip. Some people may spend hours and hours and hours working on one single device and doing all the measurements. And they want to see the numbers on the multimeter. It does not work like that. If you're spending more than 20, 30 minutes on this board, you're wasting time. We have 1,400 devices that we need to get done. And we go straight to the point and Going straight to the point is based on experience working on those devices before. We have a lot of videos on Nintendo Switches. We get them every day. So we build a pattern working on those devices. And you come to a point where you immediately know what's going on with the board, even if everything is measuring good. No problem. This switch want to play games. We can play games too. Where's Tony Montana? Tony Montana. Want to play games, mine? Okay, we play games. Nice and easy. All the pads are soaked with leaded solder. And we just need a tiny bit in the center here. Just like that. And now we're gonna grab 
a brand new M92 chip. There are a lot of fake chips being sold out in the market. We have good chips and not the fake ones. You can purchase those from our website at northridgefix.com. Click on shop and we have a lot of components for Nintendo Switches, including the charging port. Let's get rid of this blob here, so it does not interfere with the way the chip settles down on the pads. Let's push, it pulls back, very good. Now we're gonna press on the chip, not too hard. Just wait until solder hardens. Okay, we're gonna press down on the chip. And the job is done. So, before I clean up, I would like to test I do not want to waste time cleaning up if this board is not going to work. And we have to ask ourselves the one question. Do we feel lucky today? Oh, the power bank is off. Power bank, yes. <laughs> it's working. Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to give the board to Big Boss to reassemble. And we'll finish off the video in a few minutes. Before I give it to Big Boss, let me just do a quick cleanup on the board so we do not leave all that flux on there. We send it back to the customer like it's coming from the factory. All right, so Big Boss reassembled the console. And guess what? Ta-da! It's working. So we were able to fix this for the customer. So as you can see, we took an educational guess based on my experience working on those consoles. We replaced that chip and the console is fully functional now. So that's it. We're gonna invoice and mail this back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.